Good morning. Steve here, Steve Bedell, uh, your EXP Realtor in the Villages, Florida. I'm um, coming to you today. I got something I think you might find kind of interesting. I'm going to talk about two of the most popular types of properties in the villages. Um, there are different names now and a lot of uh, different models south of Route 44. So this applies mostly to uh, properties north of 44. But I'm going to talk about two my uh, most popular types of villas, you got patio villas and courtyard villas. The differences are the patio villas, like this one right here, okay, they are, have a little patio in the front here. They all, the colony villas, they all have this little picket fence like this. They are not concrete block construction. They have vinyl siding. And they are typically the least expensive homes in the villages. You can say they build them in, in groups or neighborhoods. They're pretty close to each other. And there, there is no fencing, really, or anything between the properties. All right? So yeah, I've owned a couple of these. And uh, they're great. Uh, a lot of investors own them for rentals. But they're also great, hey, for a home, for a second home, for a winter home, uh, for investors. They're very, very popular, okay? That's a colony, uh, patio villa, many of them all over the place. This is a courtyard villa. Maybe I'll go to here for this one. Yeah, okay. This is a courtyard villa, a drone shot. The difference in a courtyard villa, which I think maybe you're going to see this way. Yep. Uh, okay, they are all walled up. You do have privacy. You see this wall here like this. And the courtyard villa is a concrete block construction. Uh, this particular one has no grass, which is always nice. See a lot of them, don't see? No grass, no grass. You, the colony villas, I mean the uh, patio villas, they're all grass. But this is walled off. So you have a, it's walled off here and on the back. So these are great if you have pets so you the big reason people buy like courtyard villas is you have privacy and if you have a pet you can open the back door or let them out wherever you want and they can take a little stroll and you don't need to worry about them getting lost or taking off on you okay so let's go back to this one here and let's talk about this colony villa okay here's the price 275 been on the market 199 days, almost 200 days. Well, I did this, I popped this up a couple of days ago. <laughs> it is by now, probably. But anyway, 200 days on market, $275,000. That is a really good price. Let's see what's happening here. Started out at 300, went to 285. Now it's 275. And do you think they want to sell this? Do you think you might be able to deal with this? Well, well, let's look at this. Price improvement, seller very motivated, make an offer. They want to sell this property. Bond paid even on this. Well, it's probably in the northern part of the villages. Uh, Marion, yeah, Marion, it's, it's, it is. Uh, no homes behind. And again, at the end, motivated seller. So these guys really want to sell this property. 275000 is a very good price. So let's check it out. There you go. They all have this white picket fence. Here's the patio in the front. You're going to see it here better. There you go. See, nice little patio in the front. This home seems very well uh, taken care of. It's got luxury vinyl plank flooring. Seems to be in great condition. Okay. Appliances are kind of basic, but hey, it's a basic home. For this price... Um, this, uh, actually quite surprised it hasn't sold yet. Now here's what it looks like in between patio villas. This is, um, your side here from on the right from <coughs> line goes right down there. So you can see you don't have much space and you don't have much privacy, but you will note the way they built these. Okay. Here's your doors and windows going out, but on this side, see, this is where their garage is. So there's not much there. So anyway, that's how they build them, and uh, that's a good idea. Okay, and they got the, this open area in back of them, which I think is nice. The high power lines. Um, I had sold homes with high powered lines. I did research on them. 
far as I can see, there's no issue with them. So I don't mind that. I think it's pretty nice. You got all that vacancy back instead of a home 10 feet behind you. Okay. All right. So that's that home. Let's go take a look at what else we have here. Let's take a look at another patio door. Now remember, this home is two seventy-five, two hundred seventy-five thousand dollars. It's in Marion County. It's in the towards the very top northwest corner of the villages. So let's take a look at this one here. Yes, sir. So we go down here and we look at this one. This is three hundred and eighteen thousand dollars. It's been on the market for sixty-four days. You can see it's eleven fifty-six square feet. They're all a little under. There uh, are two twos under, under 1,200 square feet, okay? It has a corner lot. It's furnished. Turn key says optional. It has a bond paid between Sumter and Brownwood, which is a, a, a good, they're, they're pretty much all good areas, but this is kind of more in the heart of things. New water heater, do, 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 do. Anyway, they go on and on about it, and... 318,000. Okay, so let's take a look. Remember, the last one we just looked at, 275. So let's take a look here. All right, huh. Uh, Realtor 101, first impression. What do you think? Look at the last one. They had professional photos. Look at this. I, I don't even understand this. Uh, those of you who know me know a uh, professional ph photographer 40 years. And... Uh, the, even an iPhone, you, you aim it, take a picture, and it comes out great. These are all exposed. I don't know why. These are terrible, terrible pictures to begin with. Like why Why even take this? Um, anyway, so your first impression of this house, not very good. Look, these pictures tell you nothing. There's looking out the patio. Looking out the patio inside again, pretty basic. Pretty basic home. Colonyville is, yeah. They're, anyway, they're nice, but you're going to, what I want you to know, see, here's our photographer here. Right there. Hire a professional. Okay. All right, so you tell me. Let's do a little game here. If you are looking at properties and you're in New York or New England or Minnesota, and you're looking at this property here for 318, and then you're looking at the one we just looked at for 275. Which one do you think you might want to buy? <laughs> um, I think I'll be looking at that 275 property pretty hard right now. Okay, here we go. Here's another property, uh, Rio's Court. Okay, this is a courtyard villa here. Let's take a look at this one too. Uh, oh. I don't know why they got all that junk out there. Nice flooring. Still got the popcorn ceilings, which is not a big issue to me. It's a ceiling. Nice floors. Nice shower. You got the concrete box. You got no grass. Okay, but here, uh, again, uh, why would you put this in? Make your property look bad. Why would you put that in? And especially, why would you put this in? This is a water filtration system. You just If this is what your picture looks like, can it and just put in your remarks, water filtration system. Um, you're just making your house look bad. So you could at least sweep it up, huh? Yeah, another there. First impressions matter, people. These things gotta look good. Look at why. Hey, you got a garage. Put it in the list and don't put that in. Don't put that. Don't put this. Anyway, okay. So there we go. There's a courtyard villa there. They're more expensive because of the construction, because of the walls, because they're in higher demand. If you have pets, you might want to get one of these. If you like the privacy, you want the wall, you might want to get one of these. So this is uh, 335, 168 days on the market. Started at 339. I think they might need to do a little work on that. First thing I'd say, get some pictures. Okay. You, you know, you're selling a house. It's going to cost you um, a, a couple hundred, two, three hundred dollars to get professional photos. 
uh, well worth the investment. It's going to come back to you. You're going to get more people to look at your property. All right, let's take one more. Okay, there you go here. There we go. This one, which we looked at before, showed you how it's made. 42 days on the market. So it hasn't been on the market all that long. Started at 352.9. And we started at 359.9. It's at 352.9. Use, um, well, show button. Oh, yeah, that reminds me. I want to go back to that next one in a minute here, just because I got something to tie up. All right, this is a nice courtyard villa at a little higher price point, 350. And it backs up. Oh, yeah, get this. Backs up to a turtle preserve. <laughs> Isn't that nice? I didn't know we had turtle preserves. But, hey, we got to look out for the turtles. Got to look out for the turtles. Got to look out for the gators. Got to look out for the wildlife around here. You got, you got um, hard surface counters here. Kind of basic appliances. But anyway, just a nice clean house, 350. You can buy courtyard villas depending on their size and uh, and location, like if they're located on a golf course or uh, water views by the lakes, anything like that. You can buy courtyard villas for 500,000. So, but anyway, this is a pretty nice basic. I'm just going fast to see here's the nice one eye. There's no grass. You can see you got your walls here. This is like this over here. If you got a small dog, you better watch it. Though he's going to get out there, I guess. But, and there's high tension wires out there too. Well, I'm sure it doesn't bother the turtles. One thing I want to point out though, I want to go to the last one. And if we go down here, yeah, this is it. Okay, it's a little tip for sellers here. In addition to getting a photographer, well, you should get a real thing. <laughs> because, I mean, how many times have studies shown that 90% uh, of the time you're going to net more income when you use a realtor? So why are you going through all this um, yourself and taking your own pictures, doing all the hassle of selling the property yourself when you're basically, it's going to take longer and you're probably going to make less money. So uh, tip one, use a realtor. And see, if you look here, now, if a property is in MLS, that means it's supposed to be with a realtor because this is for realtors. This is where we get all our information. But uh, for years now, you've been able to basically just pay a few bucks to some company and they'll put it under their name and you get listed on the, on MLS for 300 or $500 or whatever it is. So that way you get exposure to all the realtors. And they do, they will pay, this seller will pay you for it. But, um, <laughs> again, it's in MLS, you're going to get exposure to some realtors, but why don't you just hire a realtor to start with? A realtor would have paid for a photographer to come do a great job on the home. A realtor would sell this property. A realtor would price it properly. A realtor would net you more money. And I'm sorry, I got a little carried away there, but with the market the way that it is right now there are over the when i looked yesterday 411 properties for sale in the mls in the villages now last week i think we set a record with 386 well you can see where that's gone it's ballooned up to well over 400. so if you've got a house for sale right now it's not that easy there's a lot of properties for sale and that's not even counting the ones from the villages. So um, do yourself a favor. If you're selling now, you're going to need all the help you can get. Hire yourself a realtor. Get it out there. Get the job done. And uh, you'll feel a lot better about it. And we'll net you more money. Okay. Sorry I went off on a little tangent there maybe. But uh, uh, hopefully it's all good information for you. And I'll be back next week with more topics about the villages, Florida. And don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.